So just shy of 20,000, but yet another record. We've seen this indefinite extension of the citywide lockdown now. Yeah, I mean, you can you can really get the feeling that they are scrambling to get this under control. I mean, the very high case uh, levels, you know, not particularly high for, for maybe a Western country, a country living with the virus, but very high record levels, as you say, for China. They are a reflection of the fact that the city is still in lockdown, that they are doing this sort of continuous mass testing. Our reporters on the ground there um, talk about uh, getting tested um, every day in their housing complex. Pounds, uh, which they're confined to. Um, so it does reflect that. Uh, but, um, I mean, corresponding to that, you're seeing a, a real expenditure of resources, thousands, hundreds and thousands of isolation beds being set up throughout the city, uh, in, in, in stadiums, um, in the cabinet Shanghai Conference Centre, uh, just to cater for all these cases, because China, of course, a very key part of its policy is to isolate all cases, regardless of severity. Emma, what are we hearing from residents? Because reports now say that there's a lack of medical care, food shortages sometimes as well. Yeah, I mean, there really is a palpable sense of frustration coming out of Shanghai, which is, uh, you know, unique among Chinese cities in that it is uh, quite uh, outward facing, traditionally has had much more engagement with the West. Uh, you've got a little bit more of a politically and media savvy population, perhaps. Uh, so there have been reports um, of, of protests, uh, particularly in lockdown housing compounds um, that have had trouble getting uh, food. I mean, food is, is an issue because you've got so many delivery drivers locked down um, or in, in isolation in Shanghai uh, and those uh, protests being censored uh, on social media. There's been uh, lots of concern around the way children are being isolated, separated from their parents, um, some speculation around why there haven't been any deaths in such a, a large uh, outbreak um, as well. Uh, so, yeah, lots of, lots of mm. sort of frustration on the ground uh, in Shanghai, uh, you know, like we haven't really seen before with, uh, you know, the Chinese people until now pretty supportive of this COVID zero policy, uh, which has kept them uh, right. you know, pretty virus free for the past two years.